If you own a home, it's probably the biggest investment you have. But in this economic climate, it's also an uncertain one. Fall behind on your mortgage just a little, and you can find yourself fighting off foreclosure. Now con artists are taking advantage of distressed homeowners. In our series, Fighting Fraud, Jenny Cunningham investigates foreclosure rescue scams. <laughs> it's the way Ollie Owens hoped it would be. All her family around her, including twin grandkids. Y'all some big old guys, huh? This visit to Grandma's house would be perfect, if only it were still Grandma's house. She has now become a tenant in her own home. How did this happen? Owens had lots of equity. She's owned this house since 19 Octo October the 1st, 1989. She works at a hospital. I work for Swedish in the morning, uh, you know, from 9 to 5.30, and I throw papers in the morning from 1 to 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Owens got into money trouble the way any of us could. First, there was a small house remodel that got bigger and bigger. It's still not done. She had some health problems. Then her son developed heart trouble, and he passed away. Owens got behind on her mortgage. And suddenly her mailbox was full of solicitations from people who wanted to help. Owens didn't fall for it. She went to a bankruptcy attorney. Her bankruptcy attorney referred her to them, thereby giving them a veneer of credibility or respectability um, to her. Yes. Yes. Owens thought she was getting a refinance from a Mill Creek mortgage company. There's even a document that they had her sign where it indicates that she's seeking refinancing from Berkshire Funding. When did you realize this wasn't a legitimate deal? When I looked down further, what a $400,000 loan was, that's when the bell really went off, you know. And what'd you realize? Uh, that, wasn't nobody gonna give me no $400,000 loan. As a beneficiary, is about to sell at a trustee sale the following property situated in King County. Here's what Owens is trying to avoid, losing her house at a bank foreclosure auction. Foreclosure proceedings are up threefold in just two years in King, Pierce, and Snohomish counties. And it's not just the excerpts. We spotted this notice of default right down the street from Owen's house in an up-and-coming Seattle neighborhood. Thousands of homeowners in Western Washington are in trouble, which means more scammers are promising to save them. And that's a key word if they're making, you know, I want to help you save you, I understand your feelings, we want to help. They don't want to help, they want to take your equity. No one knows about the scope of this problem better than Melissa Hulesman. She started defending people like Owens in lawsuits against foreclosure rescue scammers. Now it's all she does. I actually have had a couple defendants who have threatened me. I, don't, I never really took it all that seriously, but some of the people I sue are bad people. You're a pretty tough cookie. I don't think so. I just, you know, I, I do what's right. So how do you know you're being targeted by rescue scammers? You'll get a mountain of mail. Believe it or not, this pile of promises is what just one of Hulesman's clients received when scammers found out she was behind on her mortgage. In this case, it was too late to save the house. The state attorney general's office has tips to avoid foreclosure scams. Contact your lender. They may be able to reduce or suspend your payments or help you refinance. If you're in foreclosure, the first place to turn is a nonprofit certified housing counselor. Learn how to spot a scammer. Ask yourself, what do these people really want? Scammers are either after your house, your equity, or they want you to pay rent to them. And finally, don't sign any paperwork you don't understand. I call myself stupid, you know, and, and didn't realize, you know, what I was doing, you know, because like I say, you know, I was grieving, you know. Among the pile of papers Ollie Owens signed was the title to her house, but the loan stayed in her name. And they're receiving rent payments from her every month that are supposed to be used then to pay her mortgage. And But are they? Well, at some points they have and at some points they haven't. Hi. Hi. Come How on are in. you? I'm all right. How Good. are you? Good.
The goals of the lawsuit are to get the title back in Owen's name, to collect enough damages to get her current on her mortgage, and to pay attorney's fees. It won't be easy. Even with the housing downturn, the online appraiser Zillow values the house at more than $500,000. Berkshire Funding paid only $334,000. The attorney for the defendants and the director of operations, Mike Gannon, did not return our calls. So if I were that guy and, I was, and I'm right here, what do you have to say to me? I choke him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, because uh, he, you know, he portrayed me, you know. Here I am thinking, you know, he's an honest man, you know. And here I am, you know, a hardworking woman, you know, trying to make ends meet. And, you know, you think about it, that's all I have, you know, it's a house, you know, because when I die, you know, um, my kids would have some place to stay. But nothing. Nothing now, you know, no title, nothing. Washington does have a distressed property law that provides safeguards to homeowners to protect them from this kind of scam. But the bill went into effect less than a year ago and too late to help Ollie Owens. If you think you or someone you know has been hustled in a foreclosure rescue scam, contact the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division. We've put a link on our website. Just go to kcts9.org connects.